give you an idea what we are. And for the Asian services, we're starting about May uh, 2018, seems very young. But we have been doing this program in the community over 20 years with all the board members that we've been doing. But this time, we're really coming up as a civic engagement organization, really go out the community to changing not only talk, don't talk about cultural or social activity. So we focus on the uh, advancing the civic and political participation and empowerment through citizenship and civic education services, nonpartisan voter mobilization and education, community service and outreach. So I think basically everybody here also doing that, but this time in Florida, we are creating this organization really focused on doing that. And, whoops, I jumped to somebody else. Uh-oh. But anyway, uh, the next one we talk about really is citizenship. This, because our two focus is citizenship and voter, mo voter mobilizations. And citizenship is really the next one. This is only overview. So go ahead. Okay, so just. Okay. So the citizenship, the number you look at here, very small. And we have building a coalition in Miami that we have done. This year, then, to make a citizenship with across the Latino, African American, Asian communities. Together, our effort, we have had more than 800 uh, lead, uh, lawful permanent residents to apply for citizenship. And then, for those ones, we also we have a center, so we do really people walk in, people calling, and now we're building up a, a momentum. People starting want to doing it. And then, we also starting with the bilingual classes because a lot of our Chinese that we did, we work with and also Haitian community, they're not really comfortable using English for the citizenship uh, interview. So we creating the citizenship class really make them feel comfortable. And through that one, our success story is like six of them already been passing the citizenship after going through the classes. And we, as I'm speaking Cantonese and also I having the elderly, to go for citizenship interview. So they will not, because if they go there, they don't have anybody with them they know besides family, they don't feel, feel comfortable to really answer those questions. So for our agency, we also doing type, this type of service to having them. And, and then I think also make it very uh, f fulfilling when you also go with the citizenship swearing in ceremony with them. They feeling that we are embracing them as a family, not just like on their own and do all, all, all this one. And at that time, we also registered them to vote. Because they are new, we are working with them, then they very comfortable to really to do the voter registration with us. And then, uh, as all you know, September 17, I believe, is a citizenship, uh, citizenship day. So we also work with the city of Miami. They also creating a proclamation, recognize our uh, coalition for the, for the work that we're doing for the community, for the citizenship uh, services. And then after that one, we're doing the vote, uh, voter mobilizations. And then you look at the number here, which is really like the overall state of for the number. It's not really every single one that we go out register them. But as a whole, we look at the state of Florida that throughout the, uh, this uh, election, we have increasing about 17,000 of Asians. And Asian in Florida, in, around the country, did not attention to the uh, Asian in Florida. They all talk about New York, California. They skip right through, okay? And then what we're doing, the GOTV is really to help uh, helping the community uh, to get out the vote. And most important, I think when you do the Asian American exit poll, that's another activity you can incorporate into your organization to help our community how they are voting and, uh, and their, uh, the pattern. And so the successful story this year, we are the only state with the alien landlord in the state United States. And we are the one, hopefully this time, we are getting that one off the book, then in, we meet up with the whole United States without the discriminated language in our book. So this is one of the successful story that uh, we, have, we can work on this 20 year to make that happen for this year. And if you don't know anything about ADN and all, check the history and what this is about. Come from California. Okay, thank you.